All right, guys, we're gonna make an asymmetrically balanced composition for our clay relief tile. So we need to know what asymmetrical balance is. So think of what would happen if a design or a photograph was cut into two equal parts. If both parts are different from each other, yet maintain a sense of balance, that means the designer has used asymmetric composition to create visual tension. So an example, I have this henna coloring book. And an example of a design here that's asymmetrical would be something like this, right? It's not the same on both sides. There's something really heavy that's kind of weighted down at the bottom. And then there's these two flares kind of coming out at the top. Again, they're using thicker, heavier lines coming out to the right. And then just a little bit on the left that's balancing that out. There's also this floral shape going on here, this round shape. And then you have several round shapes repeating, which help balance it out. All right, in other words, asymmetrical balance comes into play when you have in inequality between two sides of a picture, but the image still looks complete and sensible. The two parts are balancing each other. For example, Van Gogh's The Starry Nights, let's zoom in here. So for example, Van Gogh's The Starry Night is an excellent demonstration of leveraging asymmetrical balance. Van Gogh has used very different shapes and objects on either side of his work, yet he manages to provide a sense of balance by playing with the size and color of these elements. So he has this really dark, very tall vertical line on the left, right? That's a cypress tree. And then on the top right, he has the very bright moon shape. So that is balancing each other out. He also has this strong dynamic diagonal line, which helps lead our eye up and around the moon shape. So this is asymmetrically balanced. It is weighted. Any image with a lack of symmetry cannot be considered asymmetrically balanced. If the two halves have shapes or objects that are placed haphazardly, that means just randomly around the page, it won't be a balanced composition. So it has to have something still being equal weight on the other side. All right, so we are going to be using um, this coloring book, this henna to color. We photocopied all of these. So there's examples of asymmetrical and there's examples of symmetrical. And then we're gonna be combining those photocopies with these mandalas that are mostly radial symmetrical radial symmetry. So you're going to be cutting these photocopies. So I have my photocopies that I already cut. Blah. There it goes. I already cut this. I already cut this. Also, just to have something else to add to the mix, I have this coloring book of art history paintings. So it's kind of nice to include something figural. So if you want to have some figures, some faces, some different type of imagery to add into our composition, you can use any of these photocopies too. All right, what we're gonna work on for this is a plate. So this is kind of like our paper. And the reason we're working on a plate is because this is the size of the clay that we're gonna get, and this is what we're gonna work in with our clay, with our clay tile. All right, so the shapes I wanna use that I cut out, I have this piece from an art historical painting by Mucha. Really love the dark weighted lines on these leaves. This flower. So I just cut out some parts. If you guys wanna draw instead of collaging, you guys can draw as well. Or if you wanna have some images and draw the rest, you can do that too. All right, so I wanna arrange these in an asymmetrical way. I don't want it the same on both sides. I don't want it the same radiating out, but it has to feel balanced. So since I do have this girl and she's looking to the right, that's kind of weighting it on the right, I want something heavy then on the left. Don't go outside you know, that edge. So I've got something on the right, something down on the bottom left. So 
So it's very empty on the bottom. If I just had this, it's feeling very empty in these two gaps. So I'm putting something there. And again, I can draw as well. It doesn't all have to be these collage pictures. And then I'm gonna have this flower here. So this is kind of reflecting here and reflecting here. One, two, three. I have these heavy leaves on the left. That's the bell. And then I have her gaze coming out to the right. So it's balanced on the left and the right this way. And then it's balanced this way, but this is asymmetrical balance. So I'm going to glue all this down with my glue stick onto this plate. All right, I used a glue stick to kind of temporarily hold it, but these will start to fall off after a little bit. So I do wanna actually use glue. Um, try to do dot, dot, not a lot, just so it doesn't ooze out everywhere. Ah, it oozed. you want to glue it down into those grooves, you can, you don't have to. I'm gonna do it just so it stays. All right, so that is my asymmetrical composition. Composition means arrangement. That is step one.